Hello, this is Tyler with Phoenix Custom Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to, um, once you've installed the LTS Connect app, um, how to get everything going from there. So um, go to your app store um, and download the LTS Connect. It looks just like this right here. So once you have it, I'm going to go ahead, open it up. And allow. Okay. And we're not going to log in or register device. Um, you can if you want, um, but you, you don't have to. So for this video, we're not going to do that. Um, so all we're going to do in the top right, we have that plus button. We're going to hit that. And then we're going to hit add device manually. Okay. So we're going to name this uh, test. And then we're going to put in the address. So yours is going to be something .dvr list, or else it's going to be your external IP address. For me right now, I'm just going to type in um, my NVR address. And then the port. I, of course, change this for uh, purposes of this video. Um, but your port normally will be 8000 or 8001 or whatever we set it to be. Um, but unless I tell you otherwise, uh, keep it on 8000. You're going to type in the, your username. And all these are case sensitive. And then you're going to type in your password. And then you're going to hit save in the top right. And once you have all that, you'll see camera number. It should be the number of cameras that you have. And then we'll just hit start live view at the bottom. And then you'll have your different cameras. And it'll give you a little tutorial since this is the first time coming in. So, window split, that's basically going to give you your different uh, four square or six square or, or however many you want. Um, so, we can hit that and then we can say, give me 16 squares. It'll show you everything in there. We'll just double click on this one here. And from here, um, it's going to be, all your cameras are going to be in SD right there in the middle. So, if we hit that SD and then we hit high definition, it's going to bring it into clear view for us. Um, and then if you turn your phone sideways, it'll bring it into full view. And from there, you can pinch to zoom. You don't have to hit the magnifying glass. And you can just drag of what you're trying to see, pinch in, pinch out. And if you put it back to uh, the other mode, it'll go long ways for you. Um, you also have your speaker right here, which is if you, ha <clears throat> if you have audio, um, you'll be able to uh, hear uh, what's going on. It's usually on by default. Um, if you have a camera that has two-way voice, all you have to do is hit that microphone right there and then say while using app and then you'll have to hit it again. And you're going to want to hit channel. Um, through the camera. Um, if you want to do playback, very simple. They changed it. Um, you see the playback button right there. So if we just hit playback, Okay, um, it's going to start playing back the last 24 hours, but if you want to see a different day, all you have to do is hit the uh, little calendar, and you can choose a different day. So we'll just say the 19th, hit OK, and then it's going to start playing. You can see the date right there, uh, 3 19 25. Then all you can do is just slide this, and it's going to go to that time. This is military time. But you can see me walking across right there. Um, and you can speed it up too. So if you're not if you know what you want, you can do times eight on this. And it'll just speed it up. Now, if you see something, let me put this back in regular mode. If you see something that you want to record um, or keep, all you have to do is hit the record button right there. And it's going to start recording what you're watching. And it's going to record it into the app. So we'll stop it right there. So if we hit that, it's under pictures and videos inside the app. From here, I can just hit this and I can hit the little share button at the bottom. And it gives me different ways to share it. Hit back, back, I hit back again, back again, cancel, satisfied. No, I'm not going to write it right now. All right, so <clears throat> um, for this, if you go to me at the bottom right, You'll have your settings here. Um, 
channel zero, we don't want to display that because that's all your cameras are one box. It's kind of weird. Um, and then if you're, you're hard uh, wired or hardware decoding preference, we can just leave that as is. If you're seeing a bunch of lines on your uh, camera feeds that don't look like they should be there, you may have VCA rules applied. So if that is, you can just uncheck that. Um, if you want to be able to see when an object's moving across the screen, that's what highlight uh, moving objects is. Um, of course, we want to save device parameters so we don't have to put it in every time. Um, and then if you want to resume live view, so the last view that you were watching at the bottom there, where it says resume latest live view. So whatever you were viewing last when you close the app, if you hit that to turn on, it'll come right back to what you had before. Um, tablet mode, we don't want to mess with that unless you're viewing this on a tablet. It's always going to put it in the wide view for you. We'll go ahead and hit back on that. Um, we don't have to worry about device Wi-Fi configurations. Album. That's where our pictures and videos, that's where that video I just saved is. So you can go in and either delete it. It's saved to your phone. Um, so it's in the app in the phone. So if you do delete the app, your pictures will go away as well. So just make sure that you put that into a, uh, a drive, uh, you know, whatever cloud device you want to save it to or send it to yourself and save it in your email. That's it for the app. Uh, that's the basics of it. Um, very simple to use. If you have any questions, please contact me. Thank you. Have a great day.